Okay, work it. Module 2, Lesson 4. Objective. Know and relate metric units to place value units in order to express measurements in different units. Vocabulary for the day. So over the past three days, we have discussed mass, capacity, and length. And the two units of measurement we have discussed under mass are gram and kilogram. The three units of measurement we have discussed under length are centimeter, meter, kilometer. And then finally, the two units of measurement we have discussed for capacity are milliliter and liter. So let's look at the relationship between milliliters and liters. So I know that one liter is 1,000 times as much as one millimeter. Next, let's look at the relationship between grams and kilograms. I know that one kilogram is 1,000 times as much as one gram. Finally, let's look at the relationship between kilometers and meters. I know that one kilometer is 1,000 times as much as one meter. And finally, if we think about the units of place value, I know that 1,000 is 1,000 times as much as 1. So I can tell that the units of metric are very similar to the units of place value. So 1,000 milliliters equals 1 liter. 1,000 grams equals 1 kilogram. 1,000 meters equals 1 kilometer. 1,000 ones equals 1,000. Let's compare 724,706 milliliters compared to 72 liters and 760 milliliters. We're, we are going to compare these two numbers like we did when we used our units of place value charts. So if we set everything up, we know that our smallest unit is 1 milliliter, then we have 10 milliliters, then we have 100 milliliters, and next we have 1 liter, which is 1,000 milliliters, then we have 10 liters, which is 10,000 milliliters, and then we have 100 liters, which is 100,000 milliliters. First, let's put 72 liters and 760 milliliters into our chart. So I know that there is 7 10 liters and 2 1 liters. And then I know there is 7 100 milliliters, 6 10 milliliters, and 0 1 milliliters. Next, let's put 724,706 milliliters into our chart. So I know that there are 7 100 liters, 2 10 liters, 4 1 liters, 7 100 milliliters, 0 10 milliliters, and 6 milliliters. So now that I have stacked my numbers, I can clearly see that the bottom number is larger because 7 100 liters is much larger than 7 10 liters. So if I were to convert 724,706 milliliters into liters, it would give me 724 liters, 706 milliliters. And finally, I would know that 724 is greater than 72. Next, let's look at length. If we remember from last week's lesson, 100 centimeters equals 1 meter. Then 1,000 meters equals 1 kilometer. All right, now let's look at this question. One kilometer is how many meters? So let's go ahead and make a number line to try to solve this problem. 
and we know we have 0 kilometers, 1 kilometer, 2 kilometers. So how many meters and centimeters would be in 0 kilometers? So it would be 0 meters and 0 centimeters. Now, how many meters would be in 1 kilometer and 2 kilometers? So I know right here that 1 kilometer equals 1,000 meters. And then 2 kilometers would equal 2,000 meters. So now, figure out how many centimeters would be equivalent to 1 kilometer and 1,000 meters. And how many centimeters would be equivalent to 2 kilometers and 2,000 meters. In order to solve this problem, you would need to know that 1 kilometer equals 1,000 meters. So you would take 1,000 and multiply it by 100. And you would get a product of 100,000 centimeters. So all you do when you multiply numbers like this is you count the zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then 1 times 1 is 1. So you put your 1 here, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You have 5 zeros. Then we look at the next one, and it would be 2,000 times 100, which would be equivalent to 200,000 centimeters. Finally, let's take these three units of length and place them on our number line. First, we'll start with 725,900 centimeters. So I know that 100 centimeters equals 1 meter. In the number 725,900, there are 7,259 hundreds. That means that 725,000 900 centimeters equals 7,259 meters. Now I am able to place 725,900 centimeters on the number line. Now that this number would go right about here. Next, we'll look at 7,256 meters. This number is between 7,250 meters and 7,260 meters. So we go about right here. And finally, we'll look at 7 kilometers and 246 meters. So I'll be using the bottom of this number line. Since all of the units on the bottom of the number line are 7 kilometers, all I have to do is figure out where 246 meters goes. And I know that it is right in between 240 meters and 250 meters. Thanks for watching everybody. Have a good day.